that you are focused on something you're passionate about. You can't follow the fashion. When you're trying to do a startup company, or I think really anything in life, but you have to, as an entrepreneur, if you're gonna, if you're gonna build a company, pick something you think is interesting that has the intersection of genuinely creating real customer value and then just stay right there and let the wave catch you. I first talked to my, my wife who, uh, she had married a, uh, a you know, relatively stable, goofy, but still relatively stable uh, person working at a Wall Street firm. I worked at a quantitative hedge fund. And uh, this was a hard decision. And I was looking for the right framework in which to make that kind of important decision. And, 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 and the right framework I found is a regret minimization framework. And I, so that's just a nerdy way of saying that you want to project yourself to age 80. And then think back over your life. And, and if, you're, if, you're, if you're 80, what are the, you want to minimize the number of regrets you have. But it was uh, a very clear way for me to think about making that kind of life decision. Uh, and, the, and, and, and the way it helped was, I, I thought, okay, if I go do this thing and participate in this thing called the internet that I genuinely believe is gonna be a big deal, and if I fail, am I gonna regret having tried and failed? And I knew the answer to that was no. But I also knew that if I didn't try, that I would always regret that. step by step ferociously basically you can't skip steps you have to put one foot in front of the other things take time uh, you, there are no shortcuts and uh, but uh, but you want to do those steps with you know passion and ferocity